Welcome back, Ravens flock. Another uh, Lamar Jackson film session. We're going to talk about his, his passes this week. Good pass, good passes and bad passes. Uh, again, this is week 17, Ravens Roundup, part two. Uh, Lamar Jackson film session on uh, his throwing against the Cleveland Browns. Again, we got a big victory. Got a, a Sunday game at 1 o'clock against the Chargers again. You know, playoff game uh, at home, M&T Bank Stadium. All you guys that can get there, get there. Uh, be loud, support the team. And go Ravens. And before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, any comments in the comment box, uh, I try to get to them and answer the questions. And I appreciate you guys chatting back and forth with me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter also at Coach Evans9. And without any further ado, let's get into Lamar Jackson passes in week 17. I have they are in random order. No, you know, not chronologically through the game. So they're just random good pass, bad pass. You know, things like that. We're just going to talk about what we got while I got it up here. All right, we're reading this guy right here. but well, not necessarily reading him. This is the guy that's covering Hurst on this uh, out route. You got a uh, flood concept. Uh, some call it, um, I forget what the other, other guys call it, but I call it flood. And basically, going he's going to try to uh, defend the tight end. That's Hurst. That's a mismatch. Hurts is a tight end, but he's really just a big receiver. It's a good throw by Lamar. Let's go back to it. In and out. You know, no real threat. The guy was super wide open, so you got to hit those bunnies. What we call them. Got to hit those bunnies. He even dropped down side on him to get a better angle. He made a pretty accurate throw. Sale is the other concept that, that people call it. The other way people call it sale. That's what it is. Like. Some call it flood. Some, some call it sale. All right. We're throwing a hitch down here to John Brown. Look at all this cushion. We have to complete this. Let's see if this is an incompletion, you know, spoiler alert. Sorry. High. Why is high? I, I, I don't really know. Let's check his footwork out. Let's see if we can look at Lamar's footwork. Catch and throw. Catch, rock a step. Footwork's not bad. Just made a bad throw. Let's see if his uh, shoulder is pointed at the target. Use that shoulder. It's good form right there. This is good form by Lamar, I am, in my opinion. Right here. Good balance. Just made a bad throw. Move on to the next. But we, we got to have those, though. Anytime they play us off like that, got to have it. All right, this is our read guy. Let me go back show you the read guy. The guy we are reading. But not to say the reading, but the guy that opens up the play. This is a crossing route. Similar to the one uh, we got the touchdown on versus the Chargers. But um, he's going to open up. And when he opens up the middle of the field, the tight end slips inside of him and runs wide open across the middle of the field. Jumps out to play outside leverage, and now that's all we need. He let him come right down the scene with your two high safety. Anytime you have two high safety and a cover two look, middle of the field is where your bread and butter is. Look at all that space. Watch the accurate throw, too. Boom. But not, not as good as the throw against the Chargers, but I guess he was so open it didn't matter. That's a good job of adjusting by the tight end also. We'll take a nice game, huge game. Next play we have here, run, hitting a seam up the middle. This pass right here is going to Willie Sneed. There's no play action. There's no RPO. This is a straight drop back and hit the guy once he clears, once he clears his outside linebacker. So Sneed should press this guy out and widen him and then come right behind him to open up the space. That was That is what Sneed does. Lamar just tries to hit him in the hole and let, let's see what happens. Widen him. So this is what they did. They, they sent this guy and replace his responsibility with this guy. So this guy's gonna widen and Willie's gonna get right behind him. Right there. Now, it's a good good read because the ball's out. Here's the ball right here. The ball's out. The throw's just not accurate. At his feet. It's a good read. The right play. Let's check Lamar's base out. See if he has a good base before he throws. Kind of narrow. And he doesn't when he he doesn't step into it. He got to drive this ball. He got to use his legs. This is all on. That's all on. 
That's all on. Look at Lamar. No drive on his back back foot. Doesn't step in through step into it. That's all on. That's why that's why that ball's low. But you know, he'll get better with reps. Hopefully he'll get better with reps, because he's getting better at little things every week. And once you have a whole off season to be QB one and take all the reps and do those things, you should get better. And I'm sure he's gonna put in a lot of work in the off season because he's uber competitive. I like guys that show emotion about their craft. I like I like what Lamar's doing. I like what Baker's doing. Emotional guys that mean they love what they're doing. All right, speed out. Not the greatest as far as accuracy, accuracy but look, it's on time route. Good completion. On time. Ball's thrown and Brown's head is not even completely around yet. Now he gets his eyes on it. Brown has his eyes on it. Can't defend it if it's thrown on time. Can't. Now say one, two, three, four, five, six. Six yard uh, throw. Now, let's say he made this guy miss. Smokes off and running. If he made that guy miss. Or could turn up the sideline. Better throw. Maybe he could turn up the sideline. All right, doing a check down to Ty Montgomery. And this play during the game, I felt like would have been a touchdown. Montgomery goes out the block, chips the guy. I'm rumbling set up the middle. Everybody else is covered. Look at all this yardage. Look at all that yardage. If Montgomery just slows down just a little bit to catch it, he may still run it. Maybe score out of the backfield. I think I hit. The, yeah, I got the backfield on this one. Let's watch Montgomery. Chip that guy. Get out. Now this is this is the guy that's supposed to be covering. He thought Montgomery was going to block or go into the flats. Now he has the leverage on him. All Lamar has to do is get it over his head. And this is Peppers, I think, trying to spy. But he's still looking downfield, so he hasn't looked at Ty Montgomery yet. Now he sees Montgomery coming over, raises up to, in good presence. Still in good pocket, too. Good pocket, good pocket. Good job, O-line. Just tries to drop it over uh, Peppers' head. Slow down just a little bit, Ty. Just a little bit. Slow down just a little bit. And the only guy that has a chance to catch him is this guy up here. And he's already would have been full speed or close to full speed running away from him. But, you know, that's one of the players where you live and you learn. Opportunity missed. But keep in mind, on all these players I've shown so far, good and bad, Lamar is making the accurate, well, the proper read. He's, he's doing making the proper throws to the proper person. He's, he may not be completing it or executing it right, but the mental part of it he's getting and he's picking it up every week. Next play. All right, scramble drill. Remember when Lamar does break out when he has drop back passes? He doesn't look to run all the time. He looks to throw, and if, you know, the opportunity presents itself to run or if the opportunity does not present itself to throw, that's when he takes off. So let's see if we can go through the reads before he gets rid of us. Play action. All right, so he's looking at one of these same guys right now. Not sure which one he's looking at because, I, because of the uh, way the view is. I think he's looking up top. Now, he could fit that ball in there right now if he wanted to, but you got the safety barreling down on him. So he may not be as comfortable doing that. Same thing over here. I don't think he's looking at this guy, but he he got this guy open too. Got both of those guys open. It looks like he's looking at this route by the tight end because he goes to pump fake it. So that's probably where he was looking initially and got that guy chasing. Doesn't like that either because of the safety. Right? You know, as he get older, he'll be able to fit these guys, fit these balls in the windows. Funny thing is, all three of these guys are open. This guy's covered, and this is who's about to get the ball. Watch Crabtree adjust when he see Lamar break out. Man, I'm just running away from this guy. Accurate throw. Accurate throw on the run. Hits him right in the hands. Crabtree has a chance to, to make a move and make something else happen. Boop, boop. Good job of scrambling and picking up the first down. What we got going here. All right. Bubble. This is a, a um, play he has the baby complete. Anytime we get gimme routes, this is, in my eyes, a bubble bubble screen is a long run play. Just a long handoff. You got to complete them. You got to be 80-90% on, on bubble screens. Because you don't, you're not going to get very many opportunities to run them in the NFL anyway. All right. With him bagging out, now you have two over three. All we got to do is block, the, block this front guy, then block whoever's the next pressure guy then we should be off and running because the, the ball carrier should catch it and get wide and get wide 
If you get five yards on the bubble screen, that's a win. Got it blocked up good because he's still bagging out. He doesn't, um, you know, attack. So we got two on one right here. All you got to do is complete this ball. Complete this ball, and then he decides to go inside. Look at all the room Hurst has out here to run. Hurst is going to be one-on-one -on -one with this safety coming down here. I'll take Hurst. Now, with that being said, he catches the ball. He's already looking down feeling like going to make another block. So, it's probably the only person who has a chance to make this tackle is Jamie Collins, and Hurst probably can outrun him. This is a gimmick we missed. Uh, those bunnies. You got to hit those bunnies I talk about. You got to. Got to. Let's check his footwork out on this. And it looks decent. Footwork looks decent. You know, the couple years I did quarterbacks, and granted it's on a much lower level, his his dominant hand is right. So he's going to have to turn all the way and throw this ball over here. He's got to get his head and shoulders and everything turned to make an accurate throw. If he was throwing to the left, he would just have to take it like a, like a shortstop. Pick up the ball, slide, slide, step, and throw to the left. But he's throwing to the right. he got to get his entire body turned that way. So this H you see right here, should be facing these Browns when he throw the ball. Whoop, there it is. Got it all the way turned. Good footwork, good base. Just missed the throw. That's that's good looking. That's good right here. This is good. He just missed the throw. Just missed the throw on accuracy. Again, but to, in his defense, I hadn't seen him throw a bubble all year. Maybe I missed it. I don't see. I see the plays, but I forget what I see sometimes. I haven't seen it thrown a bubble, but that was a good wrinkle. I like that. Hopefully, we'll come back to that this week. Uh, this is our read guy. We're going to start running a couple RPOs. Now, if he if he bites on this play action, we're going to throw it right behind him. Here's, here's Sneed. That's the guy that's going to get the ball. But look how, look how hard he is in the line of scrimmage. But look at the void he's created. Sneed just got to get fit that void. Fit that void, we got to have a good throw. There it is. That's it. The run game can help you do that. Running the ball as well as we does helps you do that. If you don't run the ball, RPOs don't work. All right, we got another one. This is our read here. He's going to bite in on the, the run, and we're going to have a, a ton of space behind it. Biting on that same play. Bam, right. Look at that. I, stopped, I meant to stop a little further back. Look at all the space he voids. We just got to run to the voided space. Run to the voided space. Pull it out. Drop it off. And Hurst, I think this is Hurst with great yards out of the catch. He's finally starting to come in his own now. We got Hurst. We got uh, Boyle. We got Max. We got uh, uh, Andrews. We got, <laughs> hey, we got four good tight ends. That's the over route. Over route. Uh, Look at the formation. Way unbalanced. You got one, two, three, four, five guys on this side of the line of scrimmage. And still you got your center and two other linemen on the right side. So this is a heavy run left look. Heavy run left look. One one receiver out here, John Brown. Play action to Dixon. Play action counter. They counter. The ball comes out here naked. And the good thing is Cleveland actually has this played up because they blitz the, the corner. They blitz the guy we can't block. Right in his face. Look, now, this place should be dead to the water. Should be. But because we have this guy, there's a chance. This guy, Lamar, allows this guy to come and get open. I think this is Andrews. Because of his athletic ability. All right. Andrews still not open. Lamar's running around back there because he's faster than everybody else. Now Andrews starting to come open. Lamar's full sprint. Watch this pass. On the, on the money. Doesn't have to catch it from behind or slow down or overextend. This is a dime. Just step right on out of bounds. It's even better from the back view. Even better. Like I said, the Browns made a good call. Let me address this right quick. Somebody asked me this in the chat box on the first session. Uh, and I know this is off the subject, but since I just saw it, so let me, let's talk about it. The Browns went to shuffling defense alignment in and pinching to try to prevent the inside run and then sending guys off the edge to maybe, you know, to attack uh, the quarterback. And I think because they were doing it, I think the speed option toward the end was a good call, even though the execution was horrible, because they were pinching guys, then sending somebody to the quarterback. 
So I think the speed option was was a great call. We just uh, we didn't execute it. But you know that was my opinion on that play. And just in case somebody wanted to ask me about it and wonder why the Cleveland Browns were doing that, it was it was a good adjustment by them to prevent that inside run. You know it was was just up to us to throw another wrinkle at it. If they adjust, then we adjust. But at the time of the game for us to adjust, I didn't want to throw the ball, and the coaches didn't want to throw the ball either because it was that critical time. I didn't want to turn it off. If they were going to beat us, make them beat us. Don't give it to them on an interception or anything like that. So I I, I, I command the play calling on that that um, speed option. We just didn't execute it. But back to this passes and whatnot. Play fake, counter, which is what Dixon does. There's the guy right here. This is the corner. Corner off the blitz. Now, like again, when I paused it from the uh, side view, Andrews is guarded right now. This guy's guarded. Uh, I think, I don't know what Boyle didn't know the play or what because he just stepped back, looked, and then really didn't do anything. Got Hurst is covered. So now, now Andrews is finna run away from this linebacker, and Lamar's in a full sprint. Look at the placement. This is the ball right here. Can't throw a better ball. Look at the placement. That's high-level stuff right there, buddy. High-level NFL stuff right there, especially with a guy with wheels. Again, this is Lamar Jackson's Week 17 passes. Uh, Ravens play at 1 o'clock on Sunday, 1 o'clock Eastern on Sunday. Um, I'll be somewhere in tune, uh, but I'll be at a coach's clinic, so I won't, you know, I won't be here at home just per se, but I'll be at somebody's restaurant, somebody's bar or something, you know, checking this game out, rooting for my Ravens. And, um, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button so you can be notified when new videos come out. Uh, Ravens flock, Kings of the North, salute.